Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Minds. My name is Hasan Khurram and in this channel I teach programming skills in Python, MATLAB and R programming skills. And I also teach theoretical concepts as well as practical programming skills in data analysis, data science or statistical analysis. So if you are a person who just started to learn Python or you are a person who want to excel his career in data science, I suggest you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button because soon I will be pasting videos related to statistical analysis in Python, which is again one of the core aspect of uh, any data science professional. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, library NumPy in Python. So basically it's an introduction to NumPy in Python. So what is actually a NumPy? A NumPy is actually a library in Python. A NumPy aims to provide an array object that is up to 50 times faster than the traditional Python list. Its core data structure is the ND array, homogeneous n-dimensional array, which allows efficient operations. Additionally, NumPy offers an extensive library of high-level mathematical functions for arrays and matrices. So we are going to discuss how we can actually uh, create a NumPy arrays, how we can of our specified order. Then we will also see how we can deal with aggregation functions that are provided through LumPy library. So for in order to do that, we are first we are going to import our uh, library NumPy. And for, for this purpose, we are going to use this Python statement here, import NumPy as uh, NP. Okay, so we have imported our NumPy array as NP. Uh, where as np is alias so whenever we are going to use or call the numpy library in python environment we are going to use np instead of actually writing the whole numpy so right now we have imported our library let's move on and actually create our first numpy array in python environment for this purpose i will initialize a variable uh, array 1d and then i will uh, sign a value by calling our numpy library and within the library, I'm going to call this uh, function array. And then I'm going to create a NumPy array by defining it in the form of a list. Okay. So the uh, input argument that we're going to pass to this array function here will be a list of uh, uh, our, this, uh, our preferred uh, choice. Okay. So for this purpose, I have just used one, two, three, four, five within the square braces. So that's how you actually create a NumPy array or let's say we convert our list to a NumPy list. Okay, so we have used NP, we call an, our library, then we are using the method array and within that array, we are passing the input argument, a list, uh, 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 which has an elements of one, two, three, four, five. And we are by using this uh, statement, Python statement, we are able to uh, generate a NumPy array. So let me run this code of log for you. So now you can see that we have a one umpy array of one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is how you actually create a numpy array in Python. Now we are majority of you might be interested in uh, generating more than one uh, one dimensional array. You are might be interested in creating uh, an array dimension of p and q where p is the order of rows and q is the order of columns so for example you want to create an numpy array who has uh, uh, two rows and three columns so how we can actually create that or maybe like two uh, rows and three columns so how we can actually create that so in order to do that we are just going to use the same notation as we used earlier we will call our library npy and then the function array and within that function we are going to declare our list uh, and uh, such in a, such a way that uh, the rows will be uh, created separately within square braces and then the subsequent next row will be created after a comma for example this for example this one one two three within square braces is our first row and three, four, five, six is a, within square basis and next row. And these two rows are separated by comma, which is quite different uh, as compared to MATLAB. So if you are those of you who, who have experience working with MATLAB, they do know that we use a semicolon to actually donate the next row. But in this case, we are using uh, a simple comma and uh, to donate the next row. 
So again, I'm going to repeat that in order to create an array of two dimension and two rows and three columns, we have to use actually define uh, uh, values row wise. So that we have to define rows of uh, values of rows first row, then values of second row. And uh, so basically it will be a list of list. Okay, so that's how it is. Okay, so we have a main list here. Then within that list, we have two list here, a list of list. So that's how you're actually going to define a NumPy array of two dimension, 2D that has two rows and three column. So once I, okay, when I will run this blog of code for you. So now you can see that we have uh, two rows and three columns. So that's how you actually define a uh, NumPy array of 2D by using NumPy library. Obviously, there are some pre-built function that we can use actually to generate uh, two dimensional arrays. And one of the most common ones are zeros, ones and rand random. So let me briefly give you their functionality step by step. So for example, so in order to create a, a NumPy array of order two and three, or let's say order P and Q, we are, we can use this function here, np dot zeros, uh, np stands for numpy library and zero is a function. And we are going to pass an input argument, which is the order of the <laughs> matrix. Okay. So it will be a order of the matrix. So in our case, the order of matrix is two rows and three columns. So what it will do, it will create uh, a uh, numpy array of order two, uh, two rows and three columns where each element will have a value of zero. So zeros, so this, that's the functionality of this function zeros here in NumPy. So let me run this code for you. So now you can see that we actually do get two rows and three columns where each column, where each element has a value of zero in it. So that's how you can actually uh, use uh, zeros uh, function of NumPy to create a two dimensional array. Uh, obviously, it uh, can be used like, for example, if you before you actually uh, run some calculation, you want to pre assign the variable. So that's way in the so in that context that zeros function becomes handy because we can predefine a function. And when after applying the loop for i and j, we can actually fill those values with our respective uh, calculation we want for each element. In the similar way, we can also create a, a numpy array of 2D who's has where each element has a value of one in it and uh, and how we can actually do that we can actually do it by using this function once of numpy array so we am going for this for this purpose i'm going to declare initialize a variable once underscore array then i'm going to assign a value by calling numpy and its function one and within the function i will pass the dimension of array Okay, how much, uh, how many rows and how much many columns I want uh, this uh, one function to generate. So in our case, we want three rows and two columns. So the first uh, input argument will be the uh, row number of rows and the second one will be the number of columns. So once we done that three rows and two columns and once I run that, now you can see that we do actually created a NumPy array of three rows and two columns where each element has a value of one. So we can use uh, NumPy predefined uh, pre-built functions to actually create a two dimensional array. For I mean, uh, again, you can use it for, uh, for your calculation and you can like predefine the values uh, before you actually start the loop. And once you predefine it, you can actually do the calculation on each uh, element individually by the use of for loop or uh, nested loop. In the similar way, we have actually defined zeros and ones, and we can also use random, which actually creates a random values from zero to one, uh, based on our defined uh, choice of order of matrix, like how, what will be the order of our matrix, whether we want like two rows, two columns, or we want three rows, three columns. So in the same way as we have used for zeros, function zeros and ones, in the same way we can use this function random. So in order to do that, we will are going to use the pre-built function uh, NP, uh, we will function random of np or numpy array and we will pass here, here the notation is as python statement is such that we will declare uh, initialize a variable name random underscore array then we'll assign a value by calling a numpy library then we are going to use door notation and write random then we write random again and then we will pass the input argument uh, the input argument in this case will be a tuple of of what uh, 
dimension of uh, matrix we want. So in our case, we want two by two rows. So I mean two rows and two columns. So let me run this block of code for you. So now you can see that we do get uh, two rows and two columns of randomly generated values that are randomly generated from zero to one. So if we want to actually change it, let me just change it to five by five. So now we actually were considering or we want to get five rows and five columns. Now you can see that we do get actually with the values that are uh, that we do get the column or the 2D array that has two five rows and five columns. So that's how you can actually use an NP array pre built functions to generate uh, two dimensional arrays in NPy. Okay, so now you have done that. Now, obviously, when you are dealing with NumPy array and mathematical calculation, we are more interested in uh, doing the mathematical operations or matrix manipulation or uh, calculations where each uh, element of matrix is added individually or multiplied individually or the ma whole matrix is actually multiplied by uh, some scalar quantity. So uh, I'm going to discuss that and I'm going to teach you right now how we can actually do that. For this purpose, we are going to create two uh, uh, NP arrays, NP array A and NP uh, array B. So for in order to do that, I will declare or initialize the variables name array A and array B and using uh, the format uh, NP dot array uh, and within that uh, braces, I will pass the list of uh, elements and in the, then after passing it i will be able to create an np array two np arrays a np array a and b array b once i have created two np arrays i'm going to perform some operations such as addition multiplication uh, division and also the scalar multiplication so keep that in mind these uh, calculations are element wise that is each element of an array a will be multiplied by or added by each array of array B. So for example, if you are performing the addition, uh, one will be added with four, two will be added by five, and three will be added by six. So it will be element wise uh, multiplication. So in order to uh, do the addition, we have to just write the arithmetical equation in simple form, okay? So for example, we have array A plus array B, it will simply do the manipulation or calculation by using this Python statement. We have declared or initialized a variable name additional results and we are assigning a value that is equal to the addition of array A and array B. So it is just the uh, mathematical equation or arithmetic equation we use here. In the same way, if you want to do the subtraction, the subtraction equation or uh, the operation will be written in the same way. We will write array B minus array A or array A minus array B. So whatever you prefer. Okay. So the subtraction or element wise will be performed in the same way. Uh, so uh, let me just run this block of code for you. And that's it. And the same way as we have done addition, uh, subtraction, in the same way we can perform element wise multiplication, where each element will be multiplied by each element of array A, where each element of array A will be multiplied by uh, their respective order of uh, element of array B. For example, one will be multiplied by four, two will be multiplied by five, and three will be multiplied by six. So we are going to rewrite the operation and this Python statement as such as we will declare and initialize a variable name multiplication results. Then we are going to assign a value that is equal to the element wise uh, multiplication of array A into array B. That's it. And in the same way as we have defined uh, multiplication, we can also define the division where each element will be divided individually with the respective a uh, corresponding element of array B. So the mathematical operation or um, uh, the syntax of this uh, operation will be uh, exactly the same, but the sign of uh, division will be provided here. So we have like array B divided by array A. So that's how is it, okay? So you know how to perform uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division element-wise. Now we can also perform the scalar multiplication where uh, uh, each array, uh, where each element will be multiplied by some scalar quantity. But here key, one key expect to note that we have actually created a new array 
that contains uh, that it has like a, a two rows and one column if you recall that i have told you earlier that if you want to create a two dimensional array you have actually to provide a list of list okay so where uh, each row elements will be provided in a list and uh, the next row element will be provided after putting a comma so it is a two dimensional array which has two rows and three columns so we define a new array c by using the same notation np dot array then we are providing a list of lists because we are interested in creating two dimensional array now we have a scalar quantity that is equal to two we have initialized a variable named scalar and assign a value two to it to simply do the scalar multiplication we simply just write array c and then multiply by scalar that's it it's that simple we will do the scalar multiplication now you can see that the one is multiplied by two and the two is multiplied by two is it becomes four and then three is multiplied by two is becomes six and so where four is multiplied by two is becomes eight and 10 and 20 multiply and gets so on okay so you get the idea so that's how you actually perform uh, some basic mathematical operations on numpy array moving on uh, now numpy library actually allows us to perform some additional uh, operations on matrix such as uh, finding the sum of all finding the sum of all elements together or finding the minimum element within the array or finding the maximum element within the array and also finding the mean of all element or standard deviation of all elements so that's uh, quite a handy tool when we have a like a bigger uh, matrix for example whose order is like uh, thousands and that actually represents some some, some form of uh, uh mathematical equations or complex systems then we can use these tools to actually get uh some descriptive statics about the system or the uh for system that is currently in focus with the mathematical equations at hand so we'll define a new array d that will has three rows and three columns so and recall that we in order to define three rows three column we will provide a list of list and where this this specific list will have three elements by three elements i mean list of three uh, three list of uh, elements okay so for example we have this element is here like list one then we have list two that correspond to row two and then we have list three that corresponds to row three so we will have list of list and we this is a an order of three by three let me just so you see that it's an order of three by three now in order to perform some uh, aggregation functions as i told you earlier for example we want to calculate the sum of all elements together we will use npy uh, which stands for numpy then we'll use the function sum and then we'll pass the input argument our numpy array in the same way we'll use np min for in order to calculate the minimum of uh, all the elements that are present in the uh, numpy array and the same way we are going to use the function max of numpy and pass the input argument our numpy array array d to calculate the maximum uh, maximum element that is present in a, a numpy array and then we will also use the function mean and standard deviation to calculate the respective values so once i run it now you can see that the with the help of our numpy library we are able to use uh, aggregate functions and calculate some descriptive statics of the uh, matrix here so i hope th i uh, this uh, that's it for now for numpy library module uh, library and I hope this was a very comprehensive tutorial and you were able to grab the concepts if you have any questions regarding today's lecture uh, feel free to write your questions or uh, problems in the comment section below I will be happy to help you out and as a reminder I will request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button because soon I will be posting videos related to statistical analysis in python which is again a core aspect of uh, any data science professional and i will also be posting about profile detail and complete tutorial videos on portfolio projects so you can add it to your resume thank you for joining me and i will catch you soon in the next video